Hey guys, Underground Geek here. So I got another video. We're going to talk about some stuff here. Um, there's just so much going on that I just want to be able to talk about all of it and tell you guys what's going on because it really strikes a chord with me and I cannot stand the hypocrisy of these people. Now you've got main affiliated TV shows and actors going after comic books at this point. They're trying to use all of the attention coming from the Black Panther movie to go after uh, regular comic books, and they're not actually comic book fans, and it's very apparent when you see them talk. Um, but now, I've just seen a video where they were talking about superheroes on the Oscars, and talking about what's wrong with superhero comic books. And I just find it hilarious. So let's watch this clip here where they're talking about it at the Oscars, and uh, you just tell me what you think. Brain dead audience at home that the new Black Power, Black Panther film wouldn't be included in the Oscars this year because it just came out, and that he was disappointed that there aren't more black superheroes. It's weird that so many superheroes are white just because that's what they were in the comics, right? People say, well, Superman is white. He's, he's always been white. Yeah, you know what else Superman has always been? Not real. <laughs> Barely it's racist. So he says superheroes have always been white. Just after he was referring to a black superhero movie. Does he know that Black Panther is not a new character? Does he know who Luke Cage, who Blade, who um, Batwing, who, uh, I mean, let's talk about some other black characters. Storm. Um, was it Dazzler, I think, that was that was black? Um, I mean, there's so many characters out there. They had whole teams of black characters because there were so many of them. Have you not seen Black Panther and the crew where they put like five, I know nobody read it, where they put like four or five black characters together? I mean, how could you do that if they've always been white? Do you know why some of these characters were white? Because... They were just made that way to begin with because that's who read comic books back in the day. A lot of people read comic books now. There's nothing wrong with the characters being white because you should be able to relate to anybody. It shouldn't matter what their skin color is as long as it's a good story. But this person right here can only see you by your color. You only have value by your color. And I think it's hilarious that it's always coming from these white cis males that suddenly have a problem with white cis males. I mean, it just blows my mind. And they go on later to talk about, you know, movies not having uh, minorities in it, which is not true. And, you know, and now all of a sudden, movies have minorities in them and you should be able to, uh, you should go along with it. But let's see if I can find where they're talking about it. It really blew my mind that they would sit there and say that, even though they just said that there was no black, I mean, there's no colored people in anything. So watch this. I say. Then they played this montage patting themselves on the back about how much they're changing our culture. Some of my favorite movies are movies by straight white dudes about straight white dudes. What's wrong with that? You just admitted. Now straight white dudes can watch movies starring me and you relate to that. It's not that hard. I've done it my whole life. So Sorry, I'd rather just... Um... That's the most racist thing I've ever heard in my life. You're saying that you don't like movies just because of the skin color, but then you admitted that you related to those movies that had white people in them. What is your problem? That blows my mind right now. But here's what we're talking about. They're going after things that are, are established that they did not create. That's what it all boils down to. And... Uh, I mean, now they're going after comic books. That's been something that they've been trying to do for years. But now you even got mainstream media covering these kind of things. The Oscars have it, things like that, because they think that it's going to get them some head pats. They think it's going to get them some pee, pee touches. They think it's going to get them some attention. And all it really boils down to is people in the back of the audience going, hmm, that was cringy. Because here's the thing. Do you know what the, the, the top, uh, superheroes are right now i'm pretty sure it's gonna be batman superman and spider-man you know who those three guys are white guys but you know what also they are one guy is an alien from a dying planet 
one guy had both of his parents murdered and grew up and, and decided to devote all of his time and discipline into being a crime fighter for justice. And then another guy was a smart high school kid that was bitten by a radioactive spider and gained powers and then had to learn responsibility after his uncle died. That could literally be anybody. Anybody could relate to those characters. It does not matter that they're white. They wear costumes over their skin. If all you see is white, you're the problem. You're the racist, okay? I never once looked at the book and said, oh, look, there's a bunch of white people on there. There's a bunch of white people. Um, there's a book right now in my hand called Rose Issue 3. Um, there's uh, an Asian guy and a non-white guy and a, and a female on the cover. Of it. There's two females on the cover. Of it. There's only one white guy on this cover. Does that mean that uh, I bought it because there's minorities on the front? No, I bought it because it's a good story. Then there's uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 298. I bought it because the cover looked cool. Spider-Man and Black Panther's on the front of it. Did I buy it just because there's a white guy on the front of it? No, he's in a freaking suit. And here you go. Here's another one. The Shadow and Batman issue three. You have two superheroes that uh, are going after the same crime fighter or the same villain at the same time on these wild adventures. I mean, one of them has psychic powers and uh, one of them can bench press a thousand pounds. It has nothing to do with them being white. There's a, there's a comic book now called Sideways where I think the main character is like Hispanic or something when it was adopted by white parents. I mean, it, just like what I'm saying, if all you can see is their color, you are the problem. OK, and these people don't actually do very good. They don't make good, good movies and good books. They don't sell well. And they admitted it in this video. Go back and watch this video. They admitted it in this video that they don't make movies to, or to make money. They make it to trigger people. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Leave our comic books alone. Leave our movies alone and, and learn to change yourself and evolve to the point to where you can see past someone's color because there's, that's a real problem. If you can't see someone past the color of their skin, that's called racism and you really need to work on that because you seem to have a problem being able to relate to people. And you, that may be something deeper psychological that you need to get some help about because that's a serious issue. But anyway... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you liked this video. Just want to do a quick little video talking about this because it's something that really gets on my nerves that they now want to go after comic books and, and comic book movies when obviously, I mean, Avengers is one of the top selling movies of all time and it had a woman, um, it had an Asgardian in it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it had a big green dude in it. I mean, it just blows my mind how racist these people are. But all right, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you liked the video. I got some more videos coming out today. Have a great day, guys. Bye.